Hello and welcome to another video. I'm Martin and today we want to talk about resizing of CSS elements and in particular the resizing of text areas. So you can do this with CSS and for that let's just create a text area. So CodePen has a lot of stuff in here we don't need but it doesn't um, hinder us. So let's say we have a text area with a class of text area and um, what you can see by default in most browsers I guess I hope is the little triangle and you can resize the text area. This is awesome for um, the user experience because if you want to write a text and the text area is really small by design you, uh, the, you as a user can just um, make it bigger. But there might be um, there might be reason um, to disable this feature or only allow it in one direction and there's an easy way to do this with CSS. So we have the text area and let's say by uh, with CSS we define the width with 200 pixels and the height 100 pixels and um, the text area oh, uh, is this updated already? I'm not sure, let's try. No, doesn't update. What is going on? Reload. Okay, so we have a small text area. And now let's say there's the text area class none. And we set resize to none. And we copy the text area, create a new one, text area none and with resize none why isn't this updating <laughs> okay so now you can see the triangle is gone resize none and there is no way to change the size of the text area there might be a reason to do this but um, I don't like it that much so then there is um, a way to only allow the text area resizing vertically you can say resize vertical and there's also text area horizontal resize whoa, what am I doing horizontal and this does exactly what you think it does it means you can resize vertically or horizontally yeah auto reload it, this is the vertical resizing it's not allowed in the horizontal and this is the horizontal resizing not allowed not allowed in the vertical so these are the um, different methods and yeah this can come in handy and um, you can use the resize um, CSS attribute also on normal um, elements just create a diff class test oh browser is lagging test and width of 100 pixels height of 100 pixels background is blue and it's display inline block so we have it all in one line and now we set resize both this should allow me to resize this diff at least I thought this is what would happen not sure if both both isn't the right one horizontal maybe no then let's see Mozilla developer network and um, resize resize both Overflow 
I just said to visible. Wolf no scroll. Okay. Ah, nice. There it is. Now resize both. Okay, so uh, normal HTML elements need to have overflow scroll, overflow visible. It's not working. And now you can resize this diff. Um, there might be reason you want to do this. Maybe a user can resize a diff, then can hit save and you save the dimensions of the element um, to use it. I have no idea, maybe um, for a dashboard where the user can resize um, different modules, you save the, the sizes and if he re revisits the dashboard, um, you can create the dashboard he saved. That might be a reason you want to do this. However, this is working. Resize both overflow scroll for normal elements and for text areas you can just use resized, horizontal, vertical or none. Both um, is the initial value for most browsers, I guess, and which is probably the best for um, usability reasons. And yeah, that's it for today. This is all I have to say about the resize property. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.